Okay, uh, welcome to come here. Um, my name is Liang. I'm a PhD student in WPI. I'm a member of uh, uh, data science uh, data science research group in WPI. Actually, uh, this uh, this is our research group, a research project, and uh, our work is accepted by a top conference one month ago. So that you can uh, read the uh, you can in ICD conference you can read the paper for more detail. Actually, this paper involves more detail about the implementation. And uh, even some um, uh, even some result. I think uh, this paper involves more experimental evaluation. And uh, we, we, share, uh, we, will, we plan to share our code uh, very soon. So, but now we, we still need to discuss about some detail because this, pro this project is funded by some company. Okay. Okay, uh, the content today involves several parts. The first is the motivation and the background and uh, about the framework. Because our framework involves two parts. The first is the uh, uh, global index and the uh, uh, second part is the local index. And we will introduce some how to implement the query. Uh, to, uh, here with the query, uh, we'll talk about the similarity query. Uh, and uh, particularly the approximate query, approximate query, KN query, uh, which is very useful for uh, us because we hope we just probably we, just, we have no we have no interest in about the to run the experiment run the program for half an hour to get the exact result, but for probably approximate result is enough. We can get it very very soon, and finally the final about the finally about the performance evaluation. Okay, uh, today we can find time series like Arabia, uh, even some like a particular financial, in financial, uh, financial uh, like a stock price and the health and care data side and like EEG and even some climate data. Uh, but today, uh, today we we'll talk about, um, oh sorry, talk about uh, large volume. I mean uh, at a terabyte level and uh, several billion time series, how to process them, how to create index for them. And uh, uh, because there are so many time series, so uh, we also, it, it, it definitely involve many data many tasks, like a, a cluster, how to cluster high dimension data set, or how to find the motive, and uh, find the outer layer, a classification. Actually, all, all the kinds of, of data mining tasks, task, time series, data, uh, time series data mining tasks rely on the similarity query. Uh, there are two kinds of similarity query. The first is about the whole, whole matching. That means all time series are same, exact same lines. And uh, another kind is the subsequent, screen, sub, subsequent matching. I have a, a pretty large uh, time series. Maybe the data, it involves several meaning data points. And, uh, but the query time series is relatively short, just, several, just maybe 1,000 uh, data points, and how to find the most similar record. Today we'll talk about the whole matching, and uh, actually our system can be modified to support subsequent matching, and we are, we, are, we are working on another system to dedicated support subsequent matching. Hopefully we can introduce at next time. Uh, okay, our target is to, we hope to create a, oh, we hope to create an index tree. Uh, this index tree is pretty new, because we found the other state of technology cannot support a long, uh, large dimension uh, time series data set. And uh, in order to support the in, oh. in order to support the index tree, we also propose a special representation signature to simplify the conversion of different uh, dimension. Uh, no, uh, different uh, canality. I will explain it uh, later. And uh, uh, it's a distributed index framework and to, to support large scale because all the, uh, it involves a, a global index and uh, it also involves a local index, ma many, lo many local index. And uh, support exact match query and a key approximate query. Okay, let's imagine that uh, here is our data set and uh, uh, time series data set and uh, each time series here is two dimension. And uh, okay, I have so many uh, time series data and I need to uh, start them in blocks in HDFS. So each block may be uh, 64 megabit or 128 megabit. And uh, uh, 
okay? My system, firstly, I uh, sampling some data set to construct a global index. And uh, the global index is pretty small size. And for example, in our experimental, if you have uh, one terabyte data set, data set, the size of global index is just uh, 20 megabit. And the time to finish this global index is pretty short, just, just several minutes. And uh, okay, after you have the uh, global index, next step is to shuffle the all time series record and uh, to, that means to put the time series into proper uh, partition. Okay. Next step is to construct a uh, local index within this partition. And okay, the global index construction involves four steps and uh, the lo local index involves two, st st two steps and the, the shuffle also involves two steps. And uh, here is the uh, time series record they are put in the uh, terminal nodes here. Once the quick comes, first it, uh, uh, first it uh, trains the, tra traverses the global index to find the partition, and uh, and then the worker, uh, because we, uh, because the global index is pretty small size, it always st stay in the memory, um, in the master um, in the master nodes, and uh, um, so. Uh, the worker will load this partition and uh, trace the local index to find the terminal node, uh, find, find a target node here. Uh, but uh, for the quick process, we also propose an uh, enhanced method to improve the accuracy. We will show the result later. It has a great improvement. Okay, let's give some uh, background information about the uh, SX representation. Okay, this is one time series, and the dimension involved, it's, the dimension is 60. So, uh, the PA method uh, split the time series into same line segment and uh, use the mean value to represent the, this segment to reduce the dimension. And, okay, for the PA representation, they assume that all the time series, all the mean value of time series, they follow the norm distribution, and so, Say they divided the normal distribution space into same area space. Here is the four space. So the quantity of the space is the four here. So um, we call the quantity is the cardinality, and we can use different uh, way to represent each space. Uh, for example, I can use a, b, c, or I can use one uh, zero, one, two, three, and most of the time we represent it. Uh, uh, Binary format, like they're there, or they're one. Um, for SX representation, and uh, um, the SX representation is a little bit different. We can find that for the, uh, the this segment, it uses uh, different cardinality, and the cardinality is four. But the, all the others are two. So that means they use variable cardinality for different segment. Uh, this is a state of, uh, state of art technology to in create an index for time series. It's proposed by Professor Emma Kyago and uh, Professor Sammy's team. So, uh, but we, are, we, propose a, we propose that new index technology. Let's look at the limitation of uh, character method. We call it uh, the state of master method, we call it the character level similarity. Okay, I have three time series here and uh, uh, red one, blue one, and the black one. We can easily find that the red one and the blue one, they are similar. So if we use the uh, um, SX representation represent method to represent them, and uh, we can find that we cannot capture such a similarity. And uh, okay, here is the uh, red line representation, and this is uh, black one and the blue one. The result is that uh, the black one and the blue one, they are similar. So that's that's a clear limitation of uh, character level similarity. So we propose a new method. We call it is uh, word level similarity. It's pretty simple. We just use the, for each time series, uh, we whole word use the same cardinality, but they can change the cardinality for whole word. Maybe for example, I uh, probably it used uh, cardinality two for whole word, and uh, uh, it also can convert it to cardinality eight. But we need to guarantee that they, all the segments use the same cardinality. So we can find that we can capture such a similarity. 
OK, here is the uh, binary tree. Uh, because the uh, state of technology is designed for the centralized for the central model, so that means they need when they need when they read a time series, they insert from the root node and uh, assign it to the proper terminal nodes. So once I find uh, uh, internal nodes have uh, so many records exceed the threshold, I need to find a segment to, to split it. So it has many limitations. The key limitation is that it I have a small fan out, so the depth of the two min nodes is pretty large. And uh, uh, so if you, you know, have no idea about the depth of the uh, two min nodes, so you need to uh, give a large cardinality, initial cardinality. But for us, our model is pretty simple because we hope to uh, support, to facilitate uh, the parallel process. So for each layer, they all use the same segment. Uh, they all use the uh, same canality. Okay, if this internal node involve, we call it a fan node. So if it involves so many record, okay, we need to split into uh, next layer, and uh, the the rest uh, are done in the same manner. So mostly we, oh, okay, for, let's let me give you an example. For us, we. Uh, for us, we just use four layer totally to support one billion time series. So that means four layer or six layer, that are enough, definitely enough. But for this one, I think it will involve more than 10 layers, at least. OK, uh, I'd like to introduce the special uh, signature here. Uh, we call it, uh, uh, we call it a SXT, oh, we call it a SXT uh, representation. This is a time series, and uh, at first, I, uh, we can consider it as a matrix, right? And I transpose it, and uh, you hex, you hex it, so now this time series become a string. We can consider that this is one time series, and uh, this four segment, and the cardinality is 60. So most of the time, I need to convert them from high cardinality to low cardinality. So for example, my time series, well, give a larger initial cardinality. So at, when they insert from the root node, it will convert from large cardinality to small cardinality. So the, the conversion here is pretty simple. Just uh, drop the right side of the character. Because here I use four segments. If I use two segments, uh, the, 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 the number of character for each layer is two. For, for the four segment, it's, it's just uh, one. OK, uh, here's the overview, and let me give you some construction. Uh, for the, the first step, we construct the global index. And uh, let's consider we use a sampling. We, the global index construction involves four steps. The first uh, is about sampling. OK, here is the, uh, HDF, uh, here is the HDF block. Um, if, we can, uh, if, one terabyte data set, if one terabyte data set, and uh, the block size is about 128. It involves 8,000 block, HDF blocks, right? So we use a block level sampling. And the next step is to convert each time series into SX representation and they use a one uh, frequency, frequency one. Next step is reducing. Uh, this step is pretty like a, a map reduce. Uh, word counting map reduce process, right? And uh, let's look at uh, uh, the benefit. Okay, if I have one terabyte data set, I sample 10%, and uh, uh, after sampling, after the map, after the conversion, it's just one gigabit. So finally, after reduced, I just, we, I can use 100 megabit data set to construct the uh, uh, global index. Okay, we can imagine that I have a powerful cluster to process just 100 back at the data set. It's pretty easy, yes. And OK, I use this resu the result of this step to construct the next layer. OK, uh, for the first layer, okay, <coughs> here's the result from the prior step. And uh, I, it's also a map reduced operation. Uh, you map it to the first layer, uh, convert from high cardinality to a low cardinality. And uh, oh, here. 
Here it means the canality two, we use one bit. So, uh, and the frequency of capacitance reduced. This is the uh, status collected for the first layer of the index. And, but here we need to decide the, if we need to collect the next, the, collect the, the statistic for next layer. So it's pretty easy. We just, we just consider, just, we just need to find if we have fan node. If we have, yes, we need to process the next layer. So just here we may draw it. And uh, must it have, uh, I can process this 100 uh, megabit data set. I feared some. I feared some because for the first layer, I already, uh, I already processed some uh, many data set. And uh, after feared some, uh, some data set and uh, convert it to this second layer. For the second layer, I also do the, uh, I also do it in the same manner. And for the third layer, uh, I use the same manner. Okay, here's the node statistic. And for us, we can find that because we just have uh, 100 megabit data set, so it's pretty easy just several, sec several uh, seconds to finish this step. Okay, next, the third step is to build index. And uh, 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 for the first level, here is the data we collected from in the prior step. Look at this one, first time. Okay, and uh, each item here, like we can look at the item here. Uh, SX represented is a string, and the quantity of this string. Okay, each item here is a node here. Uh, so the uh, insert this node from the root node and into the proper position. And okay, for the second layer, it insert from this one, and then for the third layer, insert this one. Uh, okay, because we are, we have a tree, but we find that this tree just a representation, just a quantity, but there is no content. So next step is pretty simple. We need to assign the partition ID because the target of the global index. We need to make it work at a partition. So we need to assign partition for the leaf node. Because the leaf node, we hope the leaf node has a partition ID. Uh, we can, and we put all the terminal nodes belong to the same internal nodes into same partition. Why? Because they're similar, at least at the father nodes. I think it's a great benefit, uh, here is a great benefit for us to, because we use this feature to improve the accuracy. Uh, we can find that this is a typical uh, beam packing problem. There are so many methods to, pro to process it. So, uh, okay, I have a first partition and uh, put it, uh, the first uh, uh, terminal into it. And uh, because I, I partition, on my partition have a capacity limitation, stress hold. So uh, for the second one, uh, okay, because if I uh, plus them and it, the value exceed the stress, the capacity. So I need, I need to put it to another partition. Okay, third one, and I can put it to the partition one. Okay, the rest uh, are done in a similar manner. So uh, I, so that I can assign the partition ID for each uh, terminal node. Okay, let's look at, uh, okay, we finished the construction of global index, and let's look at what it is for the global index. Okay, it's just, uh, we, we can consider it the, it's a skeleton. It's pretty simple. It's just a, SX rep, it's a representation of time series and the quantity of the, and the partial ID. And so uh, for the uh, terminal, terminal node, they will, uh, they will re report the, the partial ID to the internal nodes. So finally, if I have a, uh, if I have a time series, I, okay, here's a time series, this time series, and I convert it to the uh, SXT representation. And so my target is, because I, uh, as we know, the shuffle operation is, uh, depends on the partition. The partition, I just uh, assign the partition ID to each record. And uh, so my target is to find the partition ID. And uh, if I have, if I have the, this time series, it's inserted from the root node, and uh, I can, according to the first two characters, because we use uh, segment A. So uh, we find the first layer, and uh, okay, use another second two, uh, another two character here. I can find the next layer. Finally, I've reached the terminal nodes. Uh, 
OK, let's, construct, let, let's talk about how to construct a local index. Because we, as we know, the shelf operation can be finished by the spark automatically. And uh, OK, if I have a, uh, OK, this is my, all my time stress within this partition. Because the local index is constructed within uh, each partition. So OK, I have so many records in my partition. And uh, mm, for each record, I inserted, I inserted my each record in, in the, inserted into the, this local index from the root node to the uh, ter, uh, terminal node. And uh, because we also hope to support the exact match queen, uh, but we we don't want to load the partition because, as we know, if uh, if you process the query and the KO hand is to load the data set. So we hope to check it if we don't need to load this partition. <coughs> Probably we don't need it. We, we can read a small size index. Here we use Bloom Filter. It's a very mature technology. And uh, we use the uh, SX2 representation as the input for the Bloom Filter directly. OK. Uh, we can construct them as two local index at the same time. And uh, for the uh, Root node insert from, uh, insert from root, uh, yes, for the uh, local index is in, in, insert from the root node and uh, uh, it's trans to the proper node. Means the inter, once a terminal node, uh, the quantity, the quantity time stress within this terminal node exceeds the threshold. I need to split it to uh, uh, more terminal nodes and pro promote it to internal nodes. So it's a typical uh, in, uh, tree. Construct um, method. Okay, uh, we okay we finished our uh, index construction, and uh, let's look at uh, how to process query. Uh, okay, the first is exact match query. That means uh, I have a time, I have a query time series. I hope to find if my data set involves this time series exactly. Okay. Uh, First, convert the time series to the SX2 representation. And in the master node, because as we said, it's, uh, the global index is a pretty small size. And oh, I think uh, for the, for the uh, index construction, as we know, because it's small, the global index is small size, in order to finish the shaft operation, each worker needs to keep a copy of the global index as a partition. So the uh, global index will broadcast to each worker. So uh, the master node uh, keep one global index copy, and uh, in this process, if oh, it finds the uh, partition ID, and according to this partition ID, I can check the Bloom field. If it involves uh, uh, this uh, this time series, if if it uh, yes, probably I need to. Because as we know, the Bloom field will give our feedback. It's definitely, if it doesn't exist in partition, the result is, is no. That means we don't need to load the partition. But if yes, probably we need to check it in the index. OK, I load the partition and check it to the target node and uh, for the post process. This is uh, the exact match query. For can process query, we proposed three master. The first is the basic master, standard master. Another is one partition access. Uh, the third one is the multi partition access. So uh, for the, um, okay, you're similar to find that uh, partition ID. And uh, okay, after load this one, I need to find the, go to the target nodes. But I, uh, I use the key value distance at the threshold. And once I got the threshold, I sky whole time stream. Because why, uh, when we reduce dimension of time series, actually, the, it's not uh, exact anymore. It's not accuracy. It's approximate. If we sky it, probably we can find improved accuracy, find the more similar record, and uh, use those target nodes at the candidate side for the post process. OK, the final method, the access method, is a multi partition. OK. Once I find this, uh, mean, uh, find this partition ID, I go to the father node. When I go to the father node, I can find a more similar 
uh, partition. Because our, as we know, Spark are uh, support a uh, parallel process, so I can p process them at the same time. Uh, in our experiment, most of, this, uh, most of the partition just uh, three, five, it's, uh, it's, less than, it's less than six. So we just uh, uh, touch few partition to, for the sky. And uh, oh, okay, in this partition, I got the threshold, and, and then I, oh, I sky the whole, um, whole partition. Because I, I don't need to compile each record, I, I can scan it according to the local index and find them at the candidate side, finally for the post process. Okay, let's look at the uh, performance evaluation. Uh, here we use four data set. The first data set is a round book uh, uh, benchmark data set. And we also use three uh, real life, the real world data set. And uh, the Spark deployed in the standalone model, and uh, we tested it in the Ubuntu. And uh, here we, we, we use a cluster in our lab, so it's just involved two nodes, and each node have uh, 46 CP process. And uh, we use the state of our technology developed by Professor Sammy's team, uh, DPSX, at the, uh, to, at the baseline. And uh, okay. Because they use the default inch value, as we mentioned, uh, they, have, uh, they need a large inch cardinality to guarantee that they have enough cardinality for the split. And uh, we use the same threshold. And uh, okay, uh, all the dates that are normalized. Okay, here's the time. Uh, for the uh, index construct time, we can find that uh, for, for one billion time series, uh, the state of technology used uh, 2,300 uh, 2, minutes, but we used just use three, uh, 300 minutes to finish the whole process. And uh, it's, have, it's, uh, it's re reduced greatly. And uh, oh, we reported, we just reported round worker benchmark data set in our paper. It involved all the, um, uh, all the constructed time for, for data set. And for, let's, let's look at the break, uh, breakdown. Okay, for the global index time, we can find that uh, we, because we use block level sampling, so we, we don't need to we use fuel time. And uh, we also can find that the statistic and the building index and the assigned partition ID process, they're not bottleneck. Even, I, even my data set size increased greatly, so it still use fuel time. And uh, so the, this two step, it's not a bottleneck of construction. And uh, uh, we also can find that assigned partition ID, in a, uh, the experiment showed that it just takes two seconds for all data set. Uh, and the, the last is the build index. They use, uh, uh, because they use the uh, SXL binary tree, they use more time. And uh, both data set, both systems use the same sampling percent. And for the uh, local index, uh, we can find that uh, uh, it uses a long time to uh, read and uh, conversion, uh, but for us, we we almost use didn't we just we just read read them, uh, but we don't take time to for the conversion because we use a special signature. Uh, okay, the the last is the sharp the bill of looking next. They are fixed uh, overhead for the read and the sharp. Okay, for let's look at the exact match query. For the exam match query, uh, we tested it in our data set and we can find that uh, this is our, uh, our master, our enhanced master, we can find that it almost used near half of the time. And uh, we also tested it in, in different data sets. And for one billion time series, it almost used the same time. Because uh, I just load one partition, so even, I the, even the data set increased greatly. I don't need to, it was the time when but not increased. And uh, let's look at the uh, KN approximate query. For the KN, uh, uh, okay, record, record that here, I mean, we can consider that accuracy. This is a baseline. Okay, uh, almost all the baseline, uh, almost the baseline in the four data set, they are near 1%, uh, 2%, 3%, 3 but for us, we can find that in the, uh, in our third master, it has a lot of improvement, almost, uh, um, 
30, uh, 30 times. And uh, uh, the error ratio, error ratio is a standard metric for the high dimension data um, comparison. And uh, we also have great reduction. Okay, let's give a summary about uh, our work. And uh, uh, in our work, we introduced uh, index tree. This index tree supports large scale, it uses large fan art to decrease the, depend, the depth of a leaf node. And uh, it can get better similarity at what level. And the uh, signature of signature proposed to simplify the conversion. And uh, here, our, for our system, uh, we can use that. It, it fast to, for the global index, it can, it can finish the construction very quickly. And uh, for the local index, it can parallel process them. And uh, construction fast uh, almost 80%. Uh, 80 for the query, and uh, for the exam, it decreased about half time. And uh, the accuracy, I think the accuracy is critical for the KN approximate, although it's approximate, but uh, we hope to have accuracy result, right? So it will have a lot of improvement. Okay, that's all. Thank you.